Hey Beck, it's Parker coming to you from the Azu Chambers. Now my question for you is, what is a piece of advice that you would give to your 2010 first time president self? Well, shortly after we had to close campus last March because of the pandemic, someone asked me what I was most grateful for as I was making hard decisions and planning for an uncertain future. I responded quickly with the first thing that came to my mind. I'm glad I have 10 years of experience at Whitworth, I said. I couldn't imagine navigating something so complex without the knowledge and relationships I had accumulated during my first decade as president. I tell you that story because it underscores just how important experience is in leadership. One of the things I would want to tell my 40-year-old self now that I'm 51 years young would be to remind myself that it's a marathon and not a sprint that I would be at this for a long time, and to not only pace myself, but also to pace the university as it charted a path to the future. I was a relatively young president, and I'm sure I felt some pressure to prove myself, whether that was self-imposed or not. My first year was hectic. In addition to learning the new job and a new community, Julie and I were traveling all over the country to introduce ourselves to alumni and friends of the university. I was also leading Whitworth through a process to write an ambitious 10-year strategic plan. I'm not sure there's an easier way to have a first year in the presidency, but I think looking back, I would tell myself to slow down a bit, to spend more time getting to know people, and to take a break or two along the way. Over the years, I've learned a bit more about how to pace myself and the university. Universities are organic and always evolving. Sometimes presidents have to step on the accelerator, and other times we need to intentionally take some momentum out of the system. Fortunately, the Whitworth community here has always given me grace when I've gotten those two things mixed up.